Hello, hello. Good night. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? It is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday, which means it's the middle of the week, finally. And allow me to remind you guys that this is the last week of this module and we are going to be finishing section five today, which is very exciting. We are just going to wait a few more minutes so that everyone can join or as many of you can join. So let's see, let's remind everyone that we are already in class. Very well. It is nine with zero four minutes. Excellent. And we have Alex, Ricardo, Jennifer, Katia, and Hugo. Thank you very much, guys, for being on time. Awesome. Okay, excellent. We are right now seven people. And we are just going to wait for a few more moments. Let's hope that no one's having any internet issues or any um, connection issues due to the rain and the current storm. Yeah, it's going to fire. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excellent. All right. Let's just remind everyone that we are already in class. Yeah, it's for the rain. Yeah, it's because of the rain and because of the, the wind mostly. All right, so let's go ahead and click right here. We are in class. And we are going to go ahead and finish. No problem, okay. So we are six people right now, and it is nine with zero six minutes. Very well. And allow me to share my screen real quickly. Now, I do have to tell you guys that remember, see, si no han enviado just 
un aviso rapidito. Uh, si no han enviado aún sus documentos para su inscripción del siguiente módulo, please do it today or tomorrow para que puedan inscribir su siguiente módulo que ya va a comenzar next week. Um, remember, it is our responsibility, es responsabilidad de cada persona también de estar pendiente de su avance. So, in order, para poder inscribir el siguiente módulo, debemos tener terminada la plataforma um, by Thursday, para el día jueves a la medianoche, so that you guys can continue with the next module. And in order for us to do that, para poder hacer eso, today we are going to be finishing section five. Y así mañana, and on Thursday, quedarnos solo resolviendo any questions any inquiries, any doubts, or any further information that you may need para completar su platform. Y también vamos a review el final exam so that on Thursday puedan estar completamente all set and ready to go to the next module next week, guys. Y si no han enviado sus documentos o sus inquiries para inscribir el siguiente module, please do it uh, today. Si pueden enviar el mensaje hoy después de la clase o ahorita en lo que se unen los demás para que les contesten mañana por la mañana, right? Um, and so that you can be successfully um, registered for the next module, okay? All right. So we are 10 people right now. Well, nine. Let's see if anyone's having internet issues. Okay, I don't see anything. No problem. All right. Okay. So let's see. Hello. Hi, Emma. Good night. Very well. Now, that being said, in that case, it is nine with almost 10 minutes, guys. So without any further ado, allow me to go ahead and share my screen with you. And today we have finished with making plans. We already saw the present continues and going to. And we saw the conversation on can I take a message, which uh, Carla and Ricardo helped us with. So today we are going to be finishing off with uh, this video about messages with tell and ask. And also we are going to do a reading on cell phone etiquette. Uh, and how um, to use certain phrases and certain wordings when we are picking up the phone, we are talking over the phone, etc., etc. So, to begin with, we are going to see some grammar with tell and ask. Y las diferencias entre tell and ask y cuando usar cuál. Very well. So, right now, we are going to start by reading some of these sentences. We are going to start by reading the statement sentences. This, uh, the sentence is, the meeting is on Friday. Ese es el hecho. The meeting is on Friday. La reunión es el viernes. So, can I have, let's see, we're gonna click on annotate and this one. Can I please have Areli read this first sentence? Okay, no problem. Can I please have Hugo read this first sentence? Okay, teacher. The meeting of the Friday. Please tell and that the meeting is on Friday. Thank you very much, Hugo. Please tell Anne okay. that the meeting is on Friday or Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. 
Después vamos a explicar la diferencia. Now, can I please have Alex read the next one? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Excellent, Alex. Thank you very much. Could you please tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Or could you please tell her the meeting is on Friday? And now may I please have Ricardo read this one? Uh, would you tell her that the meeting in on Friday? On Friday. Excellent, Ricardo. Thank you very much. Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Or would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Thank you very much. Now, may I please have Katia read this one? We are going to go ahead now and read the requests. The request is call me this afternoon. So can I please have Katia read this first one? Okay, please ask him to call me this afternoon. Thank you, Katia. And now can I please have Stanley read this one? Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Thank you very much, Stanley. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? And finally, can I please have Dennis read this one? Good night, teacher. Hi, good night, Dennis. Okay, would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Excellent, Dennis. Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Thank you very much for all of those who read these sentences, guys. And now, let's explain it a bit. Vamos a explicar por qué en estas podemos decir that o lo podemos omitir. So, allow me one moment. Let's see, right like this. Podemos omitirlo o podemos usarlo. De ambas maneras es correcto. De ambas maneras es correcto, guys. Lo único que va a cambiar es la manera en que lo vamos a decir. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Oh, please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. De ambas maneras, por favor, dile a Anne que la reunión es el viernes. Si lo queremos decir en una pregunta, could you, would you tell her or could you tell Anne, would you tell Anne, that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? De ambas maneras es correcto, guys. Quiero dejar eso que comprendamos. De ambas maneras es correcto. De ambas maneras se puede decir. Y está bien gramaticalmente. Both ways are correct. La manera que les parezca mejor a ustedes. Now, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Entre que usemos these two ways. A statement and a request. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre un statement y una request, guys? ¿Alguien sabe? No. ¿Alguien sabe qué es una request? Una solicitud, una petición. That's correct. A request is something you ask for. Es una solicitud, una petición. So a request, something you ask for. No una question, right? No es, una, no es que sea una pregunta, sino something you ask for a favor or something you need, uh, something you ask for, o oh, solicitud, una solicitud. And the statement, el statement tiene varias traducciones, pero para fines de este ejercicio vamos a comprender como statement um, un hecho. So a statement 
es un hecho. Or something that we're saying. Una declaración, podríamos decir. Un hecho o declaración. Cuando decimos un statement, no estamos um, haciendo una solicitud, sino que estamos dando un hecho y queremos hacerlo saber. Y cuando estamos haciendo una solicitud, pues estamos pidiendo un favor o hacer llegar a saber algo, etcétera, etcétera. Estamos pidiendo algo. So, veamos los dos ejemplos. A statement, the meeting is on Friday. La reunión es el viernes. Estamos avisando, la reunión es el viernes. Y tenemos diferentes ejemplos de la pregunta. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Por favor, dile a Anne que la reunión es el viernes. Could you tell her, o sea, Anne, could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Podrías decirle que la reunión es el viernes. Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Podrías decirle que la reunión es el viernes. Y en una request, veamos cómo es la oración. Call me this afternoon. Estamos pidiendo que me llamen. Estamos pidiendo algo, que estoy pidiendo que me llamen. So call me this afternoon. Y podemos hacerlo en pregunta o no en pregunta. Podemos decir, please ask him, por favor pregúntele a él, que me llame o pídele que me llame esta tarde. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Por favor pídele que me llame esta tarde. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Podrías pedirle que me llame esta tarde. Por esto es que no podemos solo traducir, right? Porque si traducimos ask, siempre va a ser preguntar. Pero en este contexto, si estamos haciendo una solicitud, yo le puedo decir, por ejemplo, uh, le puedo decir a un amigo, por ejemplo, uh, hey, can I ask you, can I ask you for some advice? Puedo pedirte con un consejo, can I ask you for advice? Um, puedo preguntarle a algún familiar, can I ask you for money? Puedo pedirte dinero. Can I ask you for a glass of water? Puedo pedirte un vaso de agua. De esa manera ocupamos las requests. Para eso ocupamos ask en este contexto. En este context. Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Le preguntarías si puede llamarme esta tarde o podrías pedirle que me llame esta tarde. So in that way, guys, cuando estemos haciendo una request, cuando estemos haciendo una solicitud, vamos a usar ask. Cuando estemos queriendo decir algo, entonces vamos a usar los statements y solo lo vamos a pedir que lo digan. Vamos a usar tell. For example, yo puedo decir a alguien, let me tell you something. Y le digo lo que le quiera decir. Déjame decirte algo. O, Puedo decir, por ejemplo, yo le puedo escribir a alguno de ustedes y les puedo decir, Hi, can you tell your classmates that I'm going to be late for class today? Puedes decirle a tus compañeros que voy a llegar tarde a la clase hoy. Can you tell your classmates that I'm going to be late today for class? Y para hacer una request, entonces yo digo, Hi, can you tell your classmates that I'm going to be late today? Can you ask them to stay in the class? Puedes pedirles que se mantengan en la clase. Can you ask them to stay in the class? Comprendemos, guys, cuando vamos a ocupar tell para statements y que siempre vamos a usar ask para requests. ¿Comprendemos la diferencia? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Excellent. All right. So, in that case, vamos a hacer un exercise later on. Pero primero, before we do that exercise, we're going to go ahead and do a reading. Ok. Vamos a hacer un reading que también nos va a ayudar para practicar pronunciation. We are going to be reading cell phone etiquette. 
let's see if we can zoom. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's see. We are 15 people, 14. Ya quitándome a mí. Let's see. Yeah, 15, 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and read hasta el primer punto. Voy a ir pidiendo que leamos and you're going to stop in the first period that you see in the first uh, dot that you see. Por ejemplo, la primera persona va a llegar hasta este punto. La siguiente persona hasta el siguiente punto, right? Which is this one. La siguiente persona hasta el siguiente punto, la siguiente persona hasta el siguiente punto, la siguiente persona hasta el siguiente punto, and so on, ¿ok? Para que podamos leer todos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, so the title, and, y si necesitan que le dé sumo algo, you let me know. So, the title of the reading is cell phone etiquette. Etiqueta o normas para hablar por el teléfono. All right, so can I please have Alex start the reading? Okay, what do you do in situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. Right. Ricardo, please continue. You're having a great time when a phone rings in the table next to you. Awesome. Stanley, let's continue. A man takes out his phone and starts talking slowly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. Excellent. Dennis, please continue. He talks for almost 10, almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses and restaurants everywhere. Excellent. Can I please have Hugo continue? Many, peop many people find cell phones uh, useful in day, day to day. They, they live, but. Stay, stay, hasta el punto. Thank you. Okay. Today, live. Thank you. Can I please have Fabricio continue? Okay, teacher. But we are. We, we, we. I'll sit next to someone talking to Laudi on the cell phone. Thank you, Fabricio. Please continue, Katia. You may want to tell the lawman to end the conversation, but let the magnet take care of noticing the customer. Thank you, Katia. Please continue, Jennifer. You can only control your own baby habits. As a, As a few baby. rules, please. They have a few rules, page rules. Thank you, Jennifer. Please continue, Emma. Okay. Of means of 
respect the rules of restaurants and the other public places. Thank you, Emma. Please continue, Ruth. Um, if a, a scene says, turn off, turn off cell phones, don't use your phone. Thank you, Ruth. Please continue, Lisette. It provides conversation private. They speak softly and for a short time. Thank you, Lisette. Please continue, Carla. Okay, teacher. Mm. Um, I get lost. <laughs> Oh, okay. Vamos aquí. I don't say that. Ah, okay. Keep great conversation. Great. Speak softly um, for short time. Try to move away for the other people. Like of. Thank you, Carla. Thank on. you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Carla. Uh, please continue, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Life of fun of. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Excellent, Carlos. Thank you. Please continue, Areli. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Uh, okay. say Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Please continue, Stanley. And watch where you you are going when you you are walking down the street and talking on the phone. Excellent, Stanley. Thank you. Please continue, uh, Dennis Manzano. Okay, as more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. Okay, excellent. Thank, thank you. No, I say thank you very much, guys. And let's finish off the reading. So, so the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Now, guys. Before, antes de que hagamos a review the reading, do you have any questions about this reading? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no conozcan? Is there any word that you don't know? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, low mouth. Oh, loud mouth. Okay. This one? Yes. Excellent. Behavior. Behavior. Okay. Veamos dónde está behavior, behavior, behavior. Aquí está. Behavior. ¿Qué otra, guys? Loudly. Okay. ¿Qué otra, guys? ¿No conocemos alguna otra palabra? Sí. Teacher, sad. Yes. Which one? Sad. But, but we be all sad next to someone. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Vamos, we've all sad. <laughs> This one? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Ya las vamos a review todas estas palabras. ¿Alguna otra palabra, guys? Antes de que empecemos a review. No. All right. 
Okay. All right. So in that case, let's review the reading in this, and then we are going to review these words. All right. So let's see. What do you do in a situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly. Aquí tenemos la palabra otra vez, loudly. About problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for about 10 minutes. This happens all the time. On buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives. But we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here are a few rules. Can you put in the chat? Happens. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Happens. Excellent. Noisy. Excellent. All right. Let's continue. Off means off. Respect the rules of restaurants and other public spaces. If a sign says, turn off cell phones, don't use your cell phone. Keep private conversations private. Speak softly and for a short time. Try to move away from other people. Lights off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going and when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Okay, guys, excellent. Let's review the words now. Entonces, aquí tenemos loudly dos veces. Uh, uh, uh. Now, guys, ¿alguien sabe qué es loudly? ¿O alguien sabe qué es loud? Como ruidoso. Ruidoso, that's correct. Softly, dice Hugo. Okay. Exacto. So, loud es algo ruidoso. Loudly, de manera ruidosa. Recordemos, loudly, es, lo estamos usando como un adjetivo. So, loudly. Talking loudly, hablar de manera ruidosa. Talking too loudly, hablar de manera ruidosa demasiado. Right? Ruidoso. Loudly. Now, si yo digo, this happens all the time. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? ¿Qué es happens? When something happens. Esto pasa. That's correct. This happens. Esto sucede. Esto pasa. No, no, This no happens sucede. all the time. Esto pasa todo el tiempo. Happens. That's the verb happen. Suceder o pasar. Now. But we've all sat next to someone. Talking too loudly. Sat es el pasado de sit. sit. Yeah. Y también es el participio. Por eso lo estamos usando con we have all. Pero eso no lo hemos visto aún. Sit, su pasado es sat. Y el pasado participio también es sat. So, we've all sat. Y este es with. Eso no lo hemos visto aún. Pero you will. Estamos reduciendo para we have. We have all sat next to someone. Este have no es de posesión, sino de 
pasado participio, which is algo que ha sucedido. No sucedió solo una vez en el pasado, es decir, no es un evento pasado, sino que es algo que sucede. No está sucediendo ahorita, ni es del futuro, sino que es el pasado participio, algo que llega a suceder, que ha sucedido y que está sucedido en varias ocasiones. Pero eso lo van a ver más adelante. Pero para eso es esa contracción. With, we have. We have all sat next to someone talking too loudly. Todos nos hemos, alguna vez, right? todos nos hemos sentado a la par de alguien que habla demasiado fuerte. Okay, and now, loud mouth. ¿Qué creen que puede hacer loud mouth? Esto es algo que le atribuimos a una persona. Que habla muy fuerte. That's correct. Así le podemos decir a alguien que habla demasiado fuerte. Oh, you're a loud mouth. Es habla, alguien que habla muy fuerte. Es como un atributo, right? Um, you may want to tell the loud mouth. Puede que le querrás decir a esa persona que habla muy fuerte. So that's loud mouth. Loud, ruidoso. Mouth, boca. So estamos diciendo que es una persona que habla muy fuerte. Now, noisy. Noise. Es la palabra para ruido. Noise es ruido. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre loud y noise entonces? Loud es un adjetivo. Eso siempre solo vamos a decir. That's loud. That's loud. Eso es ruidoso. Loud es un adjetivo. Eso así es. Noise es un noun. Es un, es un nombre. O sustantivo. That's correct. So podemos decir, there's a lot of noise. No podemos decir, that's noise. Sino que vamos a decir, that's noisy. Para decir, hacerlo de un sustantivo, hacerlo un adjetivo. So that's noisy. Eso es ruidoso. Lo mismo que decir, that's loud. Ok, solo que uno es un adjetivo y el otro es un eh, sustantivo. Pero ambos significan ruido o ruidoso. That's loud, that's noisy. Adjective. And noun. All right. So something is loud and there is noise. Hay ruido y algo es ruidoso. And theater. ¿Qué es theater, guys? Teatro. Teatro. That's correct. That's correct. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Nunca tomen una llamada en el teatro o en el cine. And now, the last word that we have is behavior. ¿Alguien sabe qué es behavior? Comportamiento. That's correct. Comportamiento. You can only control your own behavior. Solo puedes controlar tu propio comportamiento. That's behavior. That's correct. Excellent. All right, guys. Do we have any other questions about this text? ¿Tenemos alguna otra pregunta sobre este texto? No, teacher. No? Exactly. Oh, softly, sí. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me lo habían puesto aquí en el chat. Ok, so, softly es el contrario de loud o de noise. De loudly o de noise. ¿Qué sería entonces softly? 
far. Suave, that's correct. Si nosotros le decimos a alguien, speak softly, habla suavemente, right? Habla en tono más bajo. Speak softly. O como la, la, can o como la canción, va, killing softly. Yeah, de manera suave, softly. Excellent, guys. Any other questions? No question. Excellent. Amazing, guys. And recording that we are going to do this exercise now. So we have the instructions. Read the article, ya lo leímos and try to understand the point of view of the writer. So we have the question, check the statements the writer would probably agree with. Tenemos que seleccionar los statements, que dijimos que eran statements. Afirmaciones, right? Declaraciones, afirmaciones. That's correct. That the writer would probably agree with. Las afirmaciones con las que el escritor de este texto probablemente estaría de acuerdo. Now, guys, let's answer with yes or no. Do you think the writer would agree with the fact that you should never use a cell phone in public? No. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dicen los demás? No. And see the, um, the movie. Yeah, that's correct. No, the writer is not saying that you should never use it in public. He's just saying that <laughs> you should think about the way you're using it in public. Deberíamos de pensar de la manera en la que lo usamos cuando estamos en público. So he would not agree with that. Veamos number two. Cell phones, uh, cell phone users are very rude people. Yes or no? No. We are 16 people, pero solo escuché a una persona. Yes or no? No. No. Excellent. Yeah, no, the writer is not saying that cell phone users are rude people. Así que he would not agree with that. And it says, turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the chair. Awesome. Now, you should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. Yes or no? Um, you should call people to talk loudly. Yeah, yes. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. No. Okay. ¿Qué dicen los demás? I've heard two answers. I'm missing 13 answers. Uh, no, not. Mm-hmm. I think not. Excellent. All right, so you should not challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí nos dice, you may want to tell them loud mouth to end the conversation. But let the management take care of noisy customers. Puede que nos den ganas de callar a esa persona, but let management take care of them. Dejemos que los gerentes se hagan cargo. Now, 
It's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car. Yes or no? Not no. 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 If you have the accident. That's correct. You may have an accident if you do that. So let's not do that. And you can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, dicen los demás. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Excellent. Yes. Now, don't shout into the phone. Would the writer agree? Estaría de acuerdo el escritor? Don't shout into the phone. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. Why not? ¿Quién dijo que no? Don't shout. Kiss shout, guys. Gritar. That's correct. So, si nos está diciendo don't shout into the phone, ¿estaría de acuerdo the writer with that? Que no le gritemos al teléfono? Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. That's correct. He would agree with that. We shouldn't shout into the phone. And the last one, don't stand close to other people when you are using a cell phone. Do you think he would agree with that? Yeah. Yes. 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 Very well. Let's go ahead and submit it. Veamos si teníamos razón. We were right, guys. Amazing. Miren, hasta les resolví un ejercicio para que pasen en la plataforma. All Thank right. You, Three, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> no, okay. Mientras no lo estén pasando, todos los que hayan visto la clase. Now, remember that I always upload the class. Remember? Siempre le subo la clase el mismo día, guys. Well, nuestra clase termina a las 10. So, um, I basically end up finishing uploading it at around like 11.30. De alrededor de las 11 y media ya debería estar subido. Um, but, yeah, siempre es el mismo día. So, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, very well. And now, let me tell you guys, let me give you the news. Let me give you the amazing information that comes next. And it is as follows. You have successfully reached the end of section five. And that means that you have reached the end of this module, which is Pre-intermedium or pre-intermedio tres. Aplaus. Por favor. No se golpeen con la silla. Cuando pasen, cierran la puerta, por favor. No se golpeen con la silla, cuidado. Thank you very much, guys, for spending this module with me. We are not over. However, we are done with section five, which means, esto era lo que yo quería, so that tomorrow and on Thursday, Podemos dedicarnos a solve any, 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 any doubt that you may have since section one. Si les ha quedado alguna duda desde la section one o tienen algún knowledge check que tengan pendientes, then we can completely dedicate tomorrow and Thursday a trabajar en todos esos ejercicios that you may need help with. Um, allow me one moment, guys. I'm sorry. My battery is running low. Give me just one moment. Okay, let's continue. So, um, and also, mañana, we are going to be reviewing the final exam. Como siempre les digo, no se los voy a resolver, but um, we will be reviewing it in case you have any questions. But guys, you have reached the end of section five. Congratulations. It is all thanks to you. Thank you for coming to the classes. 
And remember, guys, it is very important that you work on the platform para poder inscribir su next module, que comienza next week. Uh, reminder, ahora que ya estamos más personas, un avisito que ya lo había dado, pero ahora que ya estamos más personas, si aún no han mandado sus documentos para inscribir su siguiente módulo, por favor háganlo el día de hoy o el día de mañana a más tardar para que puedan eh, eh, pues de manera correcta poder estar inscritos en el módulo. Help me final exam literal E. Okay, we will, uh, we will review the final exam tomorrow. Okay, definitely. Y I will be helping you privately. Si ya estamos en el final exam, okay? I will be texting you later. And, uh, but in order to be uh, successfully registered to the next module, para poder estar defectivamente inscritos en el siguiente módulo, debemos tener terminada la plataforma hasta el final exam by Thursday at midnight. La due date, la última fecha, es el jueves a medianoche. So remember, we should all be working on section five by now. Ya deberíamos estar trabajando todos, todos, todos en la section five right now para tenerlo finalizado by Thursday at midnight, a la medianoche del jueves, para que ustedes ya para la next week estén successfully graduated with me uh, from this module, guys. And it's been great. Y mañana vamos a, a continuar covering any doubts that you may have regarding section one. This, the, it's a very exciting place that we saw adverbs. Section two about health problems and suggestions. Section three, which is, may I take your order? So, two, neither, either. And how to order meals. Comparatives and superlatives. And section five, which we have talked about how to make plans and we started to see the future with present continuous and going to. And also, tell and ask. Que es el tema que vimos hoy, guys. We also saw cell phone etiquette. So tomorrow we will review the final exam, que como ustedes pueden ver, son siempre six sections, como siempre. Um, and it is about all of the previously reviewed topics de todos los temas que hemos visto. And I just want to remind you that um, todos los videos siempre están en la platform if you need to review them, pero siempre vamos a dedicar mañana y el jueves para cubrir any, 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 any doubts that you may have. Uh, but yes, please remember that we should have the platform finished by Thursday, guys. Now, I do want to ask, ¿hay alguien que no haya hecho el proceso de inscripción para el siguiente módulo aún? Hi. Okay, Ricardo, okay. Well, I will take note of that para poder pasar este dato. And are you taking the next module? ¿Se va a inscribir el siguiente módulo? Pero es que la inscripción nosotros nos hacen directamente de recursos humanos. Ah, okay, no, that's fine then. That's fine. No problem. Perfect. Solo mañana le voy, a, le voy a, a recordar, porque ya le enviaron por correo también ahí con copia a mí. Yeah. Y ella se encarga, porque como yo estoy trabajando en Occidente, ellos están allá en San Salvador. Ah, ok. Así no que, problem. Pero siempre ellos se inscriben directamente. Solo yo lleno lo que es la, la, la ¿cómo se llama? La ficha de inscripción, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La personal. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Sí, perfect, guys. Si ustedes se les inscribe de parte de su empleador, uh, then there is no problem, porque eso es automático, right? Solo les llega la ficha y ustedes la completan y you're all set to go. Si ustedes están inscribiendo de manera um, individual, then in that case, y si no han enviado sus documentos, si se están inscribiendo de manera individual, then uh, yes, please go ahead and do that today or tomorrow. A más tardar tomorrow. Tomorrow. 
Okay. Yeah. So how did you draw okay. Um, uh, tomorrow help, we help in the platform, you. You help? Tomorrow? Yes, I will be helping you guys tomorrow con la platform. Mañana y jueves voy a estarles ayudando con la platform with any, um, any knowledge checks or any discussions that you may not know how to fill para que podamos tener todo successfully ready para poder okay. estar listos para el siguiente module. Porque para todos los que estén en esta situación, como por ejemplo en el caso de Ricardo, que se les inscribe de parte de su empleador, even if it's uh, automatic, right? Aún si ese proceso es automático, aún así para poder pasar el siguiente módulo tenemos que tener completa la plataforma. Si no, no vamos a poder pasar al siguiente módulo. Ese es Excelente. el principal requirement. So, that is very important. Así que sí, yo les voy a estar ayudando mañana con any questions that you may have. Y también, si tienen cualquier otra pregunta o cualquier otro tema que les gustaría que tratáramos más o que trabajáramos más, you can let me know. Me lo pueden poner también en el grupo de WhatsApp. And I'll be taking note of that para que lo hablemos mañana y lo hablemos jueves. Y así nos quedamos all set and ready to go. And so you guys are all set for the next module, which is intermedio, because you are done with the preparation for the module. Y vamos a empezar a ver more and more interesting topics about that. You will be all graduated from pre-intermedium. It's more difficult. It's more difficult. It shouldn't be difficult, porque ya les di todo este módulo yo, o sea. No debería ser difícil porque ya les diste el módulo yo. But um, I do want to let you know, guys, I don't know uh, at this moment. See, I am going to be with you for the next module. No lo sé aún. But if I'm not, quiero que sepan uh, that even if I am not your teacher for the next module, you can always come to me if you have any questions, okay? For anything, regarding anything. Thank you. Of course. And now, guys, it is almost 10 p.m. And I understand we are all tired. Y aún nos vamos a ver mañana y jueves para cover any doubts. Sí les voy a pedir que cualquier tema que quieran cubrir, me lo pongan en el chat. Así yo preparo, me preparo para tomorrow and Thursday so that we can cover that. Y todos quedemos súper, súper claros y listos for the next module. And it is 10 p.m., guys. So before I let you go, I just want to ask, uh, does anyone have any any questions before we go? No question. Everything is clear. Excellent, amazing, guys. So, in that case, that would be all for today. Please remember, si están in de manera individual, no han mandado sus documentos, por favor, por favor, mándenlo. Si no están trabajando en la section five yet, please let's get to section five tan pronto como podamos. Uh, and I'm there to help you. Y vamos a estar trabajando en eso mañana y jueves. All right. So that would be all, guys. And thank you very much for joining the class today. And I hope that you have a good rest of your night and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow, see you teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.